Hey, what's up guys, it's Brian here. In this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to set up the Elgato on systems including the Wii, and then also the older systems too. It should work. And then, now it's got a PS2 there. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to set all of them up at the same time by using this thing. And then I can just switch through the components, whichever one I want. But right now I'm gonna do the Wii because I wanna do some uh, Super Smash Bros. First of all, you're gonna need this, which came with the Elgato. As you can tell, I got all my systems plugged into this, so just set it up normally like you would any other system. Let me zoom out here. A second, you're gonna wanna get your Elgato. Get your Elgato. And use the um, HDMI cord and plug the HDMI into your Elgato. Just plug your HDMI cord into your Elgato. I had one already plugged in because I was using my PS3. Now next, instead of having this cord plugged in, which is going to my PS3, I want to plug this in on this on this AV, AV inside. So plug that in. Now, once you've got that all set up, you're gonna want to take your composite or component cables. All I got is component right now, so I'm just gonna use component. And you're gonna wanna plug the audio into the audio. So, white, white, red, red. And then your yellow, you're gonna plug into your next red. So as you can read here, it's you want to click other when you click your device, and it says you can connect your game consoles using one of two options: connect composite signals to the Elgato analog video adapter. Alternately, the red component connector function as a composite video yellow input when the software is set to capture composite video. Once we got that, stay on composite. And there we go. You can now see the footage is up. Working on my TV. Trusty GameCube controller out. And now we can play some Super Smash Bros. Alright, now, let me turn this on. I, um, I was happy that I could do this because I wasn't sure if the Elgato could do systems other than com com uh, component. I thought they wouldn't be able to do composite cables, but they can, as we just saw. And that also means that we can do old systems, which I was really excited about. So, set up your wires just the same. Now, I would recommend getting one of these things because you can just click a button between them. Well, let's see if they'll work. There we go. Three. So now, as you see, I got some Zelda going on from my Nintendo 64 using the same setup. Perfect. Let's try uh, some Super Nintendo. Let's see, I got a uh, Tetris Dr. Mario. And bam, there you go. Now you got Tetris. Now I didn't show the PS2, but Obviously that'll work just the same because it's plugged in that little box as well. Um, but yeah, getting one of these things is very helpful, especially when you got the Elgato. So you can just switch between them. I hope you guys liked this video, and uh, hopefully I'll get some good footage out to you guys soon. Alright, thanks.
Go check out my channel and subscribe. See you later.